Oops, sorry. Eight, eight. That's a that's a seven. There we go. Seven. People want okay. to know who won the dancing, by the way, Stephen. Oh, uh, well, it was a a wonderful evening dance. Um, the couples were twirling and spinning, uh, clad all in bright colors. And it was actually Lady Adwin and her lover who ended up acquitting themselves the best at the dance. Okay. The next day, uh, they, all of the knights are talking about how well uh, this this gentleman, whose name is apparently Sir Lancoth, uh, yeah, how well he, he acquitted himself on the dance floor. So, Sir Quinn, would you give us a hunting roll to see where you choose to uh, enter the forests? A 17. That's actually a fail. I'm All 15 right. 15 hunting. So, um, yeah, the, the, night, the nightly what party. What was the 7 for, off. by the way? The 7 was to see... Oh, I haven't even moved you guys over. Ha ha. So there are like eight squares here that you can potentially start within. Ah, and seven gotcha. was to choose which one. Gotcha. Whoops. Uh, the seven was to choose which one you start in. So um, why don't you go ahead and give us another hunting roll? 13, success. Oh, that's a success. You managed to move forwards. And uh, the sun climbs in the horizon. You charge into the forests nearby, which I think are called the Morris Forests, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check that. The Morris Forest. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Morris Forest. It's the exact same forest that um, you actually managed to meet with the fairy maiden in. Uh, so... You, you find a track, and you find some spore of this boar, uh, and you, you manage to get yourself on the right track. Um, you think you hear snuffling in the woods ahead. Do you want to try a, a, an awareness roll to see if you can get a bonus to your hunting? Yes, I would. My awareness right. is 10 and a 15. Mm, not quite. So uh, you, you charge forwards uh, with your spear at the ready, and you discover a a herd of deer who scatter in all direction, um, but no boar. Go ahead and give me another hunting roll to see if you can find and fail. the track. Mm. Damn. Yes. All right. Uh, the day is not looking productive here in the first half of the day. Um, give us another hunting roll. I don't think I've rolled below a 15. I have rolled a 13, so four. All right. There we go. Not bad. So um, it sounds like you're starting to get on the trail of some large beast, and you're starting to see much more regular footprints. You're finding a couple of places where the earth has turned up as by a large snout. Um, you hear from off to the left uh, the sound of a hunting horn being sounded. Do you want to try and continue pursuing your own track, or do you want to try and rush to the aid of we're gonna, the gonna We're going to stay on our track. All right. Give me another hunting horn or another hunting roll. Damn, that's 17. 17. God. All right. Um, so you end up... Yeah. Okay. Um... You, you do start seeing a series of tracks, and um, Sir Quinn, uh, you think that you're coming up on another beast, but since the day is beginning to wane, you think that it would be wise to pursue your current quarry and um, leave the boar to some other party. What say you? Um, so we found another track, but... Yeah, uh, the, tracks, you know, the tracks that you're pursuing don't look like boar tracks, but they do look like some large hoofed beast. Hmm. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have trust in the rolls. We're going to go after the boar. All right. Give us another, another uh, hunting roll. 
Christ, dude. I, I knew you were going to roll that dude. 20, man. Oh, man. All right, so, Sir Quinn, you, you see a clearing up ahead, and you think you see a large beast moving around within it. And, um... Oh, man, does that mean that you... I think that actually means that you might get lost in the forest. Let me see how that works. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, yeah. Have an erupt day, Quinn. The that's so fun so getting roles to you. I have ever had on any role play show ever. <laughs> it's pretty harsh. Okay, no, you managed to finally break out into the same glen that you first started out in. Uh, and you hear uh, shouts and cheers as you hear other parties engaging animals in the woods nearby. Uh, do you want to try a hunting roll to see if you can join one of them? Um, we're going to bring something home. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Do you want to try and use a passion? Maybe your honor or something like that? Um. (sighs) No, I don't. I don't. I believe in my hunting. Okay. Ten. Not too shabby. Uh, once again, you find the track of this beast that you don't think is a boar, but it's, it's, the sun is starting to set in the sky and you think that it's time to strike while the iron is hot. (sighs) Knights, we may have no choice but to pursue another beast if we wish to come home with a catch. Otherwise, we might be hunting past dusk, which can, I don't need to remind you, be dangerous. What say you? I believe in your hunting skills. Whatever you deem to be prudent, we shall do. Bringing back something is better than nothing. Uh, Emrys, do you have any any comments on this? I I just put my visor down. (laughs) 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 Uh, Shit just got real. um, Philip? If you believe in my hunting prowess, then I will continue on. We will find something. We will bring back a larger boar than what the other party has brought back. Yeah. Uh, was that an 18 you just rolled? That was an 18 that I just rolled, yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, the sun is nearly below the horizon. The shadows are starting to lengthen through the Morris Forest. You hear the howl of a wolf from over the moors. Do you want to try one last time before the evening falls? Yes. All right. You know what? <laughs> fuck, fuck roll 20. Fuck oh, roll man. 20. You know what? You should be playing a normal D&D game. Yeah, You'd be amazing. I, yeah. People, Christ, are, call, people, are, calling you, people are calling you DJ Ry- Ryuzilla. Yeah. <laughs> nice. DJ Ryuzilla. Okay, so um, let's see. I think you do get lost in the woods. Would you Actually, roll a 1D20, please? Yeah, I will. I will. We're not getting lost. I feel like I'm in one of those uh, turn-based combat situations where we run into like a bunch of wolves and, and we have to fight them. <laughs> yeah. In chapter four, roll on table four dash four. Let's see what that seems like. Four four, page eighty five. Would you roll a d twenty? Yeah. In addition to the 10 I just rolled? Yes. Okay. Three. Three. Ooh. Wow. Okay. So um, you hear a screech as of like a large uh, bird of prey. And um, the, the, the four of you break into a thicket uh, where, you know, the, the stars shine clearly above you. But... Um, it's still heavily wooded and there's a lot of uh, underbrush and um, there's a massive creature in the middle of this thicket with the head of an eagle, uh, the rear body of a gigantic lion um, and all of its forebody actually is the, the forebody of a colossal. Don't kill it! Let's ride it home! Um, It fixes you with a a fierce gaze. Um, Quinn, you're the one who saw it first. What do you want to do? Well, I want to use fairy lore first and foremost. Okay. Go ahead and give me would, a roll. I, that would be appropriate here to get uh, some more information on, on yeah, this absolutely. beast, right? 
and I do not want to gaze at it. 14, which is actually a failure. I have 11. Ah, unfortunate. So uh, you don't know what this creature is, but you can tell that it is a, a scary kind of beast. Do can you we all try, try to see if we know what it is? Yeah, totally. Sure, I'm down. Nope. Don't have any clue. <laughs> Sir Ronald has no idea. No. Nope. Sir Emrys neither. <laughs> Sir Philip, do you want to try and check your fairy lore? Um, sure. Why the hell? Oh my god. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! No, no, but Lord. fairy lore is one. Oh, Damn it. oh god, that's so awful. Really? I thought everything starts at three. No, 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 no. Fairy. fairy lore starts at one. Oh. Yep. <laughs> All right, so um, you don't know what this creature is, but it's looking at you with a fierce gaze, and it's it's letting out a keening cry through the air. What are you guys going to do? Is it making any motions towards us besides the cry? It's just sort of pawing the ground and looking at you aggressively. It looks kind of like it's posturing, maybe, but it's not yet attacking. Knights, this is nothing more than a mystical beast. And surely if we bring this back to the feast, everyone will be astonished by our hunting prowess, even though we stumbled across this beast by failing hunting many, many times. What, what say you? Failure is simply success in a direction you had not intended. <laughs> Let us take the creature. All right. Anybody who wishes to attack it must succeed at a roll against their Valorous minus five. What? Where does Val? Where's what? Valorous? Your Valorous is a trait. Minus five. Okay. Yep. okay. Why do we have to succeed I at their? I have a our... sixteen, and that's eleven. Are you? Yes. Because this creature is large and it is scary looking. Oh, okay. Cool. So it's not a cowardly act to attack the creature. It's are you brave? No. No. Got to go. Yeah. It's. It's, are you brave enough to attack it? Yep. Are you halfling enough? Easy peasy. Philip that has no problem. Ha ha! I am victorious. Excellent. Son of a bitch. Sir Emerson. Are we all just, we're all just rolling our attacks? Sir Emerson No, you're is like rolling against your Valorous to see. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh Quinn! Oh, what did okay. you do? I'm not even going to roll anymore. Just put 20s down from now on. Okay, Dude, how let's... are you rolling so many 20s? Jesus what is Christ. this? I need to see exactly what that means. Uh, I think you might just get a penalty to your tax, but that might not be true. Um... So let's see. First of all, uh... let me double check exactly He's how like, this thing He's like, let's fight this thing, guys. Bye. <laughs> I just thought about that. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so uh, Sir Philip and Sir Ronald, both of you are able to make full attacks. Now, you're both on horseback, and um, Sir Ronald, you can use your lance if you'd like. Oh, you know you know, I want to use that lance. Any chance I, I can get. I suspect it as much. So, let me see here. Um, go ahead and roll your attack. Not success. too bad. Um, awesome. So it tries swiping at you with its claws, and it fails utterly, and it misses yes. its chance to make a second attack against Sir Philip. And so the both of you get to strike at it with your lances. Nice. Go ahead and roll your damage, Sir Ronald. Okay. That's 66, I think. Yes, it is 66. 66, haha! -ha. Wow, got two ones in there. Two... Lance damage isn't. Oh, it's just your normal damage, right? Or is lance uh, always sixty-six? Lance is lance is based on your horse, and if you're on your charger, that okay. means it's sixty-six. Twenty-three. Okay, so the both of you strike against it fiercely, and um, your lances. So let's see. Ah, both of your lances shatter. So, Sir Ronald, your blessed oh. lance breaks. Oh, no. Oh, man. What? Yep. <laughs> rolling, an, rolling an odd amount of damage is a shatter for a lance. So, uh, the both of you are right up next to it. Do you want to try and uh, strike it with your swords on the next round? Are we actually, like, frozen? Is that what happens? Oh, let me, let me verify exactly what happens to that. 
because I wanted to go forwards with the combat. We're all going to die. <laughs> no. No. If there were one comment I would make about this book, it's that the rules tend to be a little bit spread out, unfortunately. Here we go. Discretion and valor. Whenever a character wishes to attack a fierce beast, he might be required to make a successful valorous roll upon first sighting the creature. This modifier is a survival factor for young player knights. Creature too large or too powerful to kill should be avoided or placated, not attacked. This one's fine. Failure indicates a reluctance to close with the beast for one round. Another roll may be attempted for each round. While a fumble indicates that the character flees in terror for 1d6 rounds at least before he returns to his senses. Sir Emrys! Oh no, Sir Quinn! Yeah, it's not me. It's not Sir Emrys. Sir Quinn, would you roll 1d6 for me, please? Not <laughs> ready for that six. Five. Okay, so... <laughs> Sir Quinn just goes, oh, I think I heard the boar over here. I'll be right back. <laughs> so that's Quinn running in terror for one round. Sir Emrys, would you make another test against your um, Valorous minus five? Yes. No good. That's just a fail, right? Not a fumble. Correct. Okay. All right, so the two of you, uh, Sir Ronald and Sir Qu Sir Philip, you're locked in combat with the beast. Uh, do you want to attack with your swords, or what are your what's your strategy here? We have no other weapons, right? Yeah, I think that's true. Skewer it. All right, so <laughs> wait, how does that attack. work? So if you just roll an odd number, yep, on damage, that's such. Bullshit. So if we roll an odd number, our swords are going to break. No, no only it's on... specific to lances. It's because what? when you strike with your lance, you're striking so hard with such like a long, thin piece of wood. Lances shatter all the time. It's just super common. Okay. Oh, no. Your connection to the Sir... Oh, wait. Maybe not. Okay, no, good. Not. All right. So, Sir Philip, would you roll your sword skill? Very nice. You are successful. It lashes out at you with a claw, but you manage to dodge it and make a strong strike against it. Would you roll your damage, please? Huzzah! Teen. Huzzah. Not bad. Your sword bites into the shoulder above its wing. In the meantime, it strikes out with its claw again at Sir Ronald. Um, critical, which could potentially be devastating. Uh -oh. Sir Ronald, you get a seven, so you get your shield in uh, support of your armor here. This is going to hurt, you guys. Uh-oh. You're going to be surprised by the number I roll here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm not dead, dude. <laughs> so, um, Sir Ronald, you take the full weight of this creature's claw attack. And it just, like, eviscerates you from chest to groin. Uh, and so let me see. What is that? Minus 16 is uh, 48. Yeah, you take 48 damage. I'm oh dead, yo. Oh, my God. What's your total HP? I'm freaking dead. 24. What's your I'm dead. 24? That's double I'm your I'm 13 size, hit. love and con. That's 24 HPs, yo, and I am dead. I just died. Oh. I didn't even get to read this beautiful poem that I wrote for my lovely fairy maiden. F uh. this game. Flip table. <laughs> <laughs> so the rest of you who are there, you see poor Sir Quinn. Uh, not Sir Quinn. Poor Sir Ronald just get, like, opened. And then the beast oh falls God. on Sir Ronald's horse and begins just, like, tearing into the haunches of this creature as it shrieks to the high Whee! heavens in the darkness. And, um... How, how badly guys, wounded does this guy look? He looks seriously injured. You guys have dealt a significant amount of damage to it. It's bleeding heavily from a number of locations. Fuck it, let's kill it, I say. Okay. Um, Sir Emrys, so hang on. I do want you to know that it gets two attacks per round, and Sir Emrys isn't yet recovered enough to fight, and Sir Quinn is still fleeing in terror. Is it legitimately to... just the four of us, though? Well, th two of us now? Yes. 
All right. you want to I'm going to uh, no, no, I'm going to stay in combat with it, but I'm going to try and just dodge its blows until Sir Emrys recovers. All right, so you're going to defend. Wow. No, I'm going to dodge. Dodge. Oh, okay, excellent. Dodge seems like the far superior to defend. You get a dodge against each of its attacks. So here's its first attack. Um, Sir Emrys, why don't you first try and roll against your Valorous minus five to see if you, you I get recover. Out. All right, awesome. Recover. So, Sir Emrys, do you want to do a lance charge against this creature? <clears throat> Uh, one second. I'd much rather do a sword attack against this creature. Um, okay. From horseback. I mean, a lance charge is, like, automatic 66, but I guess if your swordsmanship is much better, then yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay. It's up to you. Yeah. That's a hit. Okay, let's see how he splits his attacks. So, um, you are successful against this beast, so deal your sword damage. 27. Wow, nice. Not too shabby. Yeah, um, you score another bright line of blood down the creature's flank, and um, Sir Philip... I'm trying to dodge, because I thought he was not going to be engaging this round, otherwise I would have yes. attacked. So, uh... Let's Easy see... What does that mean exactly? Uh, both of <laughs> you succeeded on your dexterity checks. So let's see here. Glory, compute, glory. Special melee tactic on the 17. There we go, dodging. A winning dodge means you avoided being struck. You are simply, uh... No, you simply roll against your dexterity to avoid damage, and you do that against every attack you receive in a round. That's pretty awesome. Sounds good. Okay, so the next round, the two of you are fully engaged. So now it is the... Emery's... Let's destroy this creature. All right, I'm going with my sword. Fourth round. Cool. This is round three? Keenan's. It's round four. Keenan's. Oh. Okay. Actually, hold on. I saw my friend just get ripped to shred. Yes. You want to take a passion for honor? Because that's what I was thinking about. I was going to take about. a passion of honor. That's fair. Let's do it. Let's, All right. Let's honor passion this guy up. You roll first. That's a success. <laughs> oh, damn. Emrys, damn it! <laughs> Emrys, you just feel your knees grow weak and you feel your saddle grow warm and wet. And, um... You, you realize that this beast is just going to end you all, and you feel like the strength go out of your arm, um, and your sword skill now counts as a minus 10. Okay. For this fight, right? Not for good? Time yes, to use that lance. <laughs> Time to use that lance, <laughs> Yeah, if I, if I drop my... Yeah, I would say if I, if I lost the strength of my arm, the sword was dropped, but I still have my lance, I would assume. Let me double check exactly how that... Just don't out. roll on. Passions. I feel really shitty about using my sword, but I have this lance right here. Oh, shit. No, it's minus five on all further rolls made during oh. the situation that brought on the state. So it's gotcha. whether it's your lance or your sword. And then you're going to be melancholic, which is awesome. So I'm really happy that this happened. Okay. All right. So, Sir Philip, you got a four. And the creature got a 15, so it managed to attack you successfully. But was that four your dodge? That four was my dodge. I rolled yes. a... Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, I mean, so go ahead and make your attack. Uh, so now that I've got my honor going for me, my passion, what does that give me exactly? Plus 10. All right, so d20 plus 5 then. Yeah. 19. Oh, but why is it d20 plus, plus 5 for you? Oh, the, right, yeah. Because yeah, of the yeah. sword, and it's 15 with the sword normally. Yep, exactly. Okay, so you deal your full damage. 14. Uh, so the tough hide of this creature actually absorbs all of the damage you just dealt to it. Um, oh, shit. Yep. And Sir Emrys, uh, he completely fumbles in his attack against you, and he leaves himself open to a counterattack, giving you a plus 5 to your sword skill. So just normal sword skill, then? Because it's minus five yeah. plus five. Okay. That's a hit. All right. Roll your damage. Ah, shitty 18. damage roll. You still dealt a little bit of damage to it. Um, it 
lets out another keening cry, and it it um. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's going to try and um, bite at you, Sir Philip. Perfect. I'm into it. So let me see. Is that a success? I think he just got crit. So Sir Philip got a 19, which is better than the 16 anyway, so you succeed, Sir Philip. 14? Nope. Again, no damage taken from that. And Sir Emrys, um, you get a free unopposed attack due to the creature being distracted by Sir Philip. A d20 or just roll damage? D20. You have to see to if you succeed first, which you do, so you get to roll damage. 26. Nice. Sick roll. Damn, dude. So, uh, that is, yeah. So you deal it a heavy, heavy blow and, um, knock it into unconsciousness with, uh, blood spewing from a number of wounds. If it's unconscious, I just go to like stab it in the head. Yep. You manage to execute it summarily, uh, as Quinn recovers his senses and returns to the fight. I rush so, in with my lance. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, I yep. still think it's funny that he's all like, "Kill that thing!" And he, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes running away. Oh <laughs> shit! It's yeah. a lot bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, I'm already creating my next night. Are you? Yeah, I'm already doing it. That's what I was awesome. doing over there. Cool. Okay, so uh, poor Sir Ronald and his horse are just shredded to pieces, dead. Um, but you guys. The three of you split 250 glory. So let's see. How's that going to break 75 down? 75 each. Is it, or it's 85 it's each? It's not quite 75 each. Let's see. Calculator 250 divided by three. 83 and a third. Uh, I feel like it's going to have to be 100 for the two of you who fought and 50 for Quinn for running <laughs> away. I found the thing. That's they true. They wouldn't even so. get that. They wouldn't even get that. Oh, so you get fifty. Well, yeah, those exactly. of us that actually did any work, you know, That's the consolation prize. Yes. So the two of you who were responsible for the death get a uh, hundred glory. Was that was and that a griffin, course, or what was that? That was a griffin. Yep, okay. absolutely. And of course, uh, Sir Ronald gets a hundred glory for dying in combat. Do I get any more extra glory for being the final blow? No. Okay. So just a hundred. I didn't get the extra glory for finding it, JP. Come on. <laughs> hey, I'll keep no, digging. No, you don't get any extra glory for getting lost in the woods. So you get hundred when you die. What does that yep. even no. matter if I died and I get a hundred glory? It's all about children, because children Death? inherit ten percent of the father's glory. But I didn't have any children. Whose fault was that, Sir Ronald? <laughs> oh. I didn't get to marry my, my fairy lady. That's that is a real shame. Um, Can I at least read my poem to her? Yes. <laughs> Why don't can we can you read your poem to her and then we'll take a break? Sure, sure. Yeah. All right. All right. Let me get let me get to it. The okay. poem that never was. The yep. poem that never was. For a love um, that never blossomed. Three moons the white hind has touched thy fair skin. Each night my soul has yearned for your heart to win. I foresee a special world for you and me. A bond one cannot just simply see. It holds us fiercely within its womb, its fingers tightly holding us, as would a fine cloth spun hind. Like silken threads, it holds us fast. Bonds such as this, they are meant to last. So fair maiden, Brie Allen, I must ask, will you be mine at last? And that was what I was going to say to her. Oh, oh, man. Oh, marry me. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh the but feels. Okay. Oh, the feels. It's all good. The feels. Oh, that was so good. We will have a new knight, and her too. name is going to be Lunette. So. Ooh, Lunette. Awesome. So let me see. Uh, let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll find out what it means that uh, Emrys is melancholy. Sounds shitty. We won't be coming <laughs> back, guys. <laughs> see you in three to five. <laughs> 